How can I communicate with the soul of my pet after my pet has died? I really, really miss my pet. Right after you've made that decision, they've made that transition, they're no longer in their body, this is so important. You know, their soul is going to be around you. The house is going to feel empty. And then within three days, somewhere within the first 24 hours, you're going to feel the house and you feel very, very empty, like a big pit. When that happens, I want you to register it. I'll tell you why. You're sensing when their soul leaves you. And then within three days, they'll come back. And it's kind of like when you feel your environment, when somebody goes to the grocery store, they're not inside your house, but it feels empty, but it doesn't feel like they packed up and moved away or that they've died. There's a different sensation that happens. Now the miraculous thing that comes in is within that three day period, they'll come back. It'll feel like the house will feel like somebody just went to the grocery store. When that happens, I want you to say, Toby, I know you're here, but I can't see you, honey, but I can feel you. I had my iris setter teach me this. He had died and he was my first teacher and I was grieving and grieving and grieving. And we're, there was a game we used to play. He would tiptoe into the kitchen, I'd be doing the dishes with my back to, the, to him and then he would goose me and I would jump. And then if I sensed him coming in, he'd be very quiet. Then I would turn and go and he would jump. And I didn't know it was gonna be a skill that was gonna teach me that it was his last lesson to teach me. So I'm at the kitchen counter washing dishes. I'm crying and in my head I hear, Sam, get yourself together. He's dead. He's dead, he's not here anymore, stop it. The other part of my mind saying, uh, the other part of my mind saying, uh, say my name out loud, say my name out loud. And then pretty soon what happens, okay. pretty soon what happens, louder, it's a car alert. Can we do this over? Okay, so pretty soon I felt him. I actually felt him when I said, Star, I know you're here even if I can't feel you. And even if I can't see you, I can sense that you're here. And then all of a sudden, I could feel him inside of me as if he was wrapping his arm, his big paws around my body and just holding me. Do that. What, he, what I learned from that was he said it was devastating to animals to exist one day and not to exist the next. So let me ask you, like, in this pet this grieving the, support this group. Is, I think this is her. In the, in the, in the pet grieving support group. Um, the people couldn't communicate with their pets and you said it was because they were stuck in their grief right. and they have to just feel like okay like the pet just went for a walk or went to the grocery store and is coming back and then the, you stay you keep that connection with the pet. There's, there's two sensations okay. when a person or let's say if your husband or your child is walking your dog taking a yeah. walk with your dog uh, outside now the dog's not in the house and there's a different feeling that that dog's not in the house. The house is a little bit empty. The kids aren't in the house. You can feel there's an emptiness. But when it dies, there's a void. And when the soul leaves, there is a pit in your being that is even more empty. And that's what you feel, the grief, the, the loss. When you register those different feelings, then you will be able to know when they've come back that you're really connected to the soul of that animal. Not just a fantasy, but the actual soul of him. That's why I say about two days or three days after they've made that transition, they always come back. They wanna say, I'm doing really, really good. I just wanna let you know I'm doing fabulous. Then you say their name out loud. That's important to them to exist, to still exist, to exist one day and not the dev not existing the next day is devastating to the animal kingdom. So when you stay connected 
the animal stays connected with you he'll right. stay connected with you regardless uh -huh. but we're learning about our expanded perceptions 